and friends this is lady t and today i am going to be washing my hair as i stated in one of my other videos i really am trying to do every week and see if it makes a difference in my hair particularly detangling because as you see i use combs i dry detangle and sometimes it goes a month two months with me out me washing my hair so i washed my hair last monday now it's tuesday so i'm a little later than i said but i'm going to try to stick with every seven days and just see how if it makes a difference in my hair okay so i need to get me a new bonnet so i've been sleeping with this little thing on my hair anything is better than nothing I had just yesterday I took my hair and I added some grapeseed oil on my hair and I'm going to add it on my hands again and I read I took my braids out okay and I just put the braids back in just to allow my hair to you know stretch a little more as well as um you know stretch more and to become more moisturized so I added my well added a little bit of water on my hair and took some castor oil and rubbed it on my scalp so that the moisture can get to a nice level even though I knew I would be washing my hair today I still wanted to get it as nice and lubed up as possible so that I wouldn't have to necessarily use a comb or have a lot of tangles so what I'm doing now is using my fingers to kind of move the hair apart And I'm really taking my time and feeling my hair with my fingers, see if I feel like it's any knots going on. And to be honest, it really feels pretty good, you know. So that's why I like to take the day before or a couple hours before and allow the hair to work on its own. Because I'm washing my hair a little bit sooner, I'm going to not maybe use a comb. And instead, I'm going to use a conditioner. Because I can already tell by taking these braids out, my hair is a decent moisture level and it's not a lot of tangles in my hair, okay? I'm just taking my hair strands with my fingers and filling those ends. I made sure when I moisturized my hair yesterday with my water bottle that I only moisturized really the ends and then use my fingers to work that moisture up to the top of the hair. But I didn't overdo it. But here I see something going on like a little knot. So that's not good. And that's why you want to use your fingers to, before you start putting a bunch of conditioner on your hair. Because for my hair, conditioner does not just you know have this magic effect where it gets rid of all the um, tangles it actually can cause more matted knots you know what I mean like those knots that are full of gunk like something like this is not going to remove this my hair can handle a knot like this with a nice light oil with a lot of slip like grapeseed oil so I'm just going to take each hair strand and this is probably just something that happened from how I was sleeping my scarf kept rolling off as well as just being in the kinkier part of my hair, my back. And one of the things I'm definitely going to be watching for with these weekly routines is to really get a grip of what's happening with my hair and try to catch it before it gets out of control. Just pulling those hair strands out so it can slip right off. Okay, it's still one on there. And I'm just continuing to pull them out. But this one seems a little locked. I'm just going to trim that thing. Another thing I need to do is get to the store and get some good hair scissors. See, look at that. That's nothing but dead ends and just some hair that's got caught up in there. And, of course, you lose a little hair. So knots are not ever really good. Okay, so I'm just feeling... Now, I notice the back of my hair is a little bit more rigid, which is normal. This is the kinkiest part of my hair right up in here. So I'm definitely going to take care to use my fingers before I add any type of conditioner. So let me add a little bit more oil first to make sure all those big knots are out.
the much different texture back here and it also grows much slower up from like here down and then it changes back to the silkier texture but I want to really work that oil in there my main thing I'm noticing right away is my ends feel good even though I haven't trimmed them yet from the extra moisture my hair feels kind of stiff because it's a lot of oil it has moisture but it needs more moisture okay and I'm actually gonna go ahead and add one of my favorite moisturizing products acidic water particularly for those ends just to give the hair a little pH balance again so when I add that conditioner it's really just there to up the moisture I'm not using it to detangle I'm not using it for really anything other than to add more slip and moisture and hopefully when I wash my hair it won't have that stringy feeling that it had the last time I washed my hair last week now I don't know if it came from me not washing it for two months and my hair was just like had an attitude but we're going to do it a little different. We're going to pump up a little more moisture on the hair. And I'm not going to make an event out of it. I'm just going to add that moisture. So when I put the shampoo on, the hair hopefully will be in a good state to retain a little more moisture than it did last time. in the section right here that feels a little matted and that's why sometimes I struggle with the weekly routine because I'm like wondering you know sometimes I feel like it takes my hair two weeks to actually um, be at its a decent moisture so I'm like I don't know if washing it every week is just gonna keep setting me right back into us you know this hair that's not as fully moisturized as I would like it but I think that we'll see. I actually think it may do better because of the water that's being soaked on it. And I don't know. We'll see. I actually don't think it could possibly hurt washing your hair every week. As long as you're moisturizing it correctly. No matter what you do, somehow when you have split ends, your hair will always want to knot. Have some form of knots. And you know what? That's just part of kinky hair. Okay, I'm going to trim that. It's like hair that wanted to shed that got stuck in there or just from me wearing a twist out it can come from a number of things Feel a little bit of a mat here.
Hmm. And these type of knots drive me crazy because as you can see, you're going to lose some hair. When there are these little tiny single strand knots. So little like this, it can be challenging to split the hair to separate it from the knot. Let me see. I feel like it's got to be at least two strands, but I start to get impatient and just want to cut this thing off. There we are. See, it's too tight to separate, and I'm just going to trim it. It's not worth messing with it. It's going to end up breaking the whole strand. So that's a weird one right there. It happens. Moving along. Moving my fingers to find exactly what I'm finding. Little strand knots that will become out of control once moisture hits my hair. Once a lot of water. This section I'm noticing is having more challenges than the other section. This is my left section. So that's interesting. Feel another knot coming down. And I can't think of anything at this point that I've done differently for this side of my hair versus the other side. Oh boy. Boy, when these suckers lock, they lock. Sometimes I get a little anal and I just want to see, okay, if they'll pull out. And sometimes it's just better to trim it, save yourself the stress. So here, one or three, two hair strands, maybe three. But yeah, this side of hair is acting wacky. It has a lot of mats. That one was a little easier to remove though. Once I put that grape seed on there, it helps it slip right off, okay? Get that whatever wants to come out out. And this is where you can see just how important just taking a step with the your fingers to smooth out any shedded hairs and to really fill the hair and make sure there's no obvious knots or sometimes the hair becomes matted from hair strands just sticking together. I'm just pulling those hair strands out and pulling the hair down at the root at the ends and getting the hair to, you know, allowing the oil to work for a few minutes and then it just somehow melts away the mat. 
in a way that I can feel it and I have a little bit of control over what's happening. Sometimes when I put a lot of moisture or substances on my hair, I feel a little bit, I can't feel the knot as much because of all the, the you know, substances and all the ingredients inside of the hair product. So that's why I'm very slow to just put a product all over my hair. I want to first feel my hair at its normal texture. But I, have, I must say, I want to make note of this. The left side has a lot of weird tangles this week. And I'm going to see what happens next week when I detangle my hair. I don't know if this happened out during the wash process. I didn't really get all the, the shed of hair from after I washed it out. But okay. Maybe it wasn't moisturized thoroughly. I did moisturize it pretty well. But I like my hair to go a couple weeks with moisture. Because then I feel it gets to its strongest point. But I also know that my hair... I get too lazy with my wash process that I think I'm making, you know, things become a lot more challenging. So I want to get on a better routine and I don't see why I couldn't do this every week. Once a week. It probably may go into every two weeks at the latest, but I'm trying to get better because every two months it's just... A lot. Here's another one that has a mat. See what happens sometimes when you have little knots like these and you don't really wash your hair. They just become bigger and more difficult to remove. But either way, they're a pain in the butt. Let's just shed it here. Alright, I think that's good on this side. I'm going to add a little water to my ends. That's the part I'm the most worried about. Okay, me. Good Lord, I'm going to the back. I'm a little nervous about the back because that side was tough. And then usually the front side is a little easier. Okay. Actually, you don't feel that bad on this one. Feels quite a good moisture level. Feel some little knots here. Just add a little more oil for that extra slip. Going on here. 
heel. I do like how it feels back here. It feels better at a good moisture level. I don't know why the back feels more moisturized than the front, but it does. I'm add a little moisture. I don't even feel any knots or anything going on back there. Now, I haven't done this in a long time where I put conditioner on my hair before I wash it because I just typically, I guess I just stopped doing it because for a while I would always. Um, add a, make a concoction with aloe vera juice and other oils like olive and coconut you know when we first came natural we were doing a whole lot right I don't have time for that right now I'm not saying I won't ever do it again I probably will but right now I just want to do something kind of quick so I can just make this as quick as possible it's already spent 20 minutes just finger detangling and I haven't even used the comb so I'm hoping I can skip using the comb this time if I do it more frequently, I can just keep it stretched, throw some conditioner maybe on it before I shampoo it, and then go ahead and um, just shampoo it. I don't know if I'll always do the step of adding conditioner, because I would be completely fine putting my hair in the washer just like it is. I mean, doing washing my hair just from this step. But this time I have this avocado, VO5 avocado um, rinse out conditioner, and I figure why not use it? It's in my cabinet, right? So this is what I'll be using was one dollar and I still don't even remember where I got it from. I hope it was a dollar store because I love avocado oil and I was actually going through a phase where I was loving cooking with avocado oil and all that and I decided why not try the conditioner. So here it is. But this is what I'll be using. Avocado cream with Morocco Argon oil. Moisturize and condition, soften and shine. I'm just going to take this and use it just as is. And just give my hair a light little treat before it goes under the, with the shampoo, okay? I'm going to start with those little ends. It smells really good. Mmm. This also helps to remove when you wet your hair before you go in with something wet. It kind of, you know, of course it's going to pull out the shed of hair. But I always feel like I need to be like extra careful with my hair when it's wet. And I don't want to do much manipulation because I personally don't like how my hair feels when it's wet. Sometimes. Ooh, look at that. A knot already stem came about from a hair trying to shed. These ends need to be trimmed. Okay. I'm going to throw my hair in like four twists and make it nice and simple, right? And this is a great thing to do to just set your hair before you wash it. If you have time, maybe you got to go clean up something or whatever. And while you're doing it, your hair is getting to a great moisture level. Because, you know, when it goes under with that conditioner, it's stripping it a lot. And with these times when it's cold, you want to keep your hair as moisturized as possible. So I'm kind of doing this mainly because it is cold. My hair has been a little drier. And the hair is always fun when it's wet and you can tell when it's happy it fluffs up looks thicker because my hair to be honest because I use oil so much it always looks kind of brittle and I do moisturize it but when I'm about to wash it I don't I use moisture but I start to get more heavy on the oils because I know my hair strands they respond to a slippy product they like to separate with with grapeseed oil not every oil 
has that effect. But you know, it's, I've been I've been natural for years, so more, I'm not against trying other products out. But I do get loyal to what works because we are busy people, and unless you got a lot of time on your hands or just love playing with products, you don't always feel like doing that, all that. You know, searching a new product just for the sake of it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this simple and just do fours with this conditioner. I do like what it's doing to my hair right away. I like how it feels. I see some more shedded hair coming out, which I appreciate because I rather it come out a lot of it come out now. It's not a lot, but yeah, I'm actually enjoying the smell of this. It gets me ready to get. I start, I'm starting to feel a little ready for that shower and the smell of the other products on my hair. And that's another reason I'm trying to up my wash game because you know it's a nice thing to do for yourself is to wash your hair. You know your skin look better, you feel better. You know, and I love how this feels on my hair strands. They feel strong, so this gives me a nice feeling. I don't particularly like the tangling at this texture or adding a comb at this texture because this is not, you know, my I can't feel my strands as much because of the coating, but I love how it feels right now. I might do two twists because this is a shorter, thicker part of my hair. And I'm not expecting these twists to stay in while I'm in the shower, but... They'll just keep it a little organized. I'm already liking the texture. I'm gonna get me some avocado oil, but where I buy it, I don't. They were always out, and they were supposed to send me a notification when they would come back in for the brand of avocado oil I was using, because it really worked great on my hair and my skin. I even use avocado oil for cooking. Avocado is a great oil. If you're going to try a new oil this year, because I'll um, try avocado oil, even for cooking um, and your skin in here. Um, I like to bake with avocado oil, but I love it on my hair. I just love how it feels. My hair loves these type of oils, like grapeseed avocado. I also want to try like um, almond oil, but I don't think my hair would like almond oil because it's a protein. It's a nut oil, but I know it probably smells really good. My hair likes jojoba oil. It likes olive oil, but it's not my favorite oil. Because olive oil sometimes leaves a film to me. It doesn't always feel like it's just going in my hair. I like olive oil for like my mixing concoctions, you know, or just to add something over a hairstyle. But when I'm trying to detangle, and really get these hair strands under control. I need something that's going to really tell them something to do. Like separate or whatever. But yeah, I'm just going to do some twists with this. And it feels great. I am not going to lie to you on that. Felt really good. I didn't feel any tangles. This is just to kind of get my hair feeling nice and ready for the water and soap. And hopefully them ends don't get out of control. So I'm going to go take a shower because that's how I do. I don't do the over the sink thing. I ain't got that to do. I ain't got the back for it. So I'm going to go take myself a shower. And I'll be right back. I'm going to show you how I moisturize my hair. And I also want to record what it feels like. Because last week, did not my hair didn't feel that great after I washed it. But I'm still using the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm almost done with it. And I'm looking forward to trying a new shampoo and conditioner. But when you don't wash your hair frequently enough, you don't know what's really working. I like the product. It's cheap. But I noticed when I washed and conditioned my hair yesterday, last week, last Monday, it felt very stringy afterwards. So now that's why I wanted to bring in the VO5 conditioner, one of my favorite ones, the avocado one. Um, that's the one I can find in the store. As, as I mentioned before, I also love the Silky Experience, Cashmere and Shea, but that one's not always available in the store. But I'm using this now because it's the fall, I mean the winter, fall. I'm using this conditioner now because it's the fall, so I want to just see if this helps when I, helps pump up the moisture after I wash my hair. I'll have it feeling nice and soft, and then I'll go into my moisture routine. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to, of course, get some clothes on, so it's probably been a good 5 to 10 minutes. So I washed my hair. I did the, you know, pre-treatment with the VO5 avocado oil. 
leave um rinse out conditioner smelt great felt great on my hair then i washed my hair using the trader joe's nourish spa shampoo and conditioner and now um when i got out the shower that's, um, my hair was feeling great it felt great in the shower um i must say when i was washing the product out it felt good not a lot of hair on my hands it immediately felt soft and moisturized and um, my hair um, once I got to wash to put the shampoo in my hair um, I only used the shampoo once because I feel like I just washed my hair. Um, I feel like I just, I feel like I just washed my hair last week, seven days ago, last Monday. So I don't need to really lather it all up and wash all the product off my hair because I don't want to end up with strip hair like I did last week. So I basically washed my hair with the shampoo once, lathered, lathered, lathered it up. Then I put the conditioner on, put my plastic cap on the shower while I washed up, and then I took the plastic cap off. My hair felt so soft and the texture felt great. Then I um, came immediately and put a, um, into, um, I came, then I eventually came to, put, and then I grabbed my water bottle with apple cider vinegar and regular water, spring water in here, and I sprayed my hair because I didn't want it to start frizzing. You know how your hair starts to shrink. I didn't want to get knots on the ends. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm really just focusing on my ends. That's the part I'm the most worried about. I added that to my hair and then I put the plastic cap back on while I got dressed so that it would hold the moisture and wouldn't allow my hair to get the ends to get knotty. So now this is what I'm working with after I washed it. I must say it feels much better than last week. Ends look like they're free and happy. So what I'm gonna do is what I always do, and that's put my hair into four braids. Okay, so you just put your hair in. I'm gonna go right back to my four braids and I'm gonna moisturize using my Giovanni. I'm gonna moisturize using this Giovanni Direct Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, it's almost out, that's why I have it like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my hair and throw it into my four braids. You don't really need to have parts that are straight. Sometimes the less you manipulate, the better. I'm going to just clean this part up a little bit. When I mean, you decide you just don't care. Okay. I'm more of a finger girl. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to apply the conditioner to my hair as it is. Starting with the ends. When you have ends that need to be trimmed, no matter what you do, they're going to cause knots. So at some point I need to get my butt together and trim my hair. You know, shed of hair wants to go and it locks onto your end. That came off pretty well, pretty easily.
This is just step one in moisturizing my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and put a braid in here. I feel like I usually make this section bigger, but I could be going crazy. I think I do. It's amazing with the right pH and the right product, even the most ratty ends can get a little under control. Okay. Now I typically would have put, I forgot this one step, I usually put my castor oil on probably before I do the braid because I like to put it in here like that. quite generous with the product because wet hair can be misleading it can look like it's moisturized and not necessarily be but my hair is actually feeling amazing and feeling way more moisturized than it did last week I was actually considering washing gold um, doing pre what they call them shampoo what we know you wash your hair cold washing every week and doing washing my hair every two weeks but I'm not going to go to that yet because I really want to get in the habit of washing it and cleaning my scalp and break some of my lazy hair habits. And I actually have to go somewhere later today in a few hours. I know my hair won't be completely dry but sometimes it's good to put more than product than you need. It might take longer to dry, but it like allows your hair to really suck it all in. Especially if it's a really dry area. Oops, you hear that snap? That's not good. That's the sound of hair breaking.
and I still see shed it here. A couple more knots. But not really knots, just here wanting to shed. And it's kind of sliding right off, which is good for the most part. Put some more on the bed, especially the driest areas. Remember if I put the castor oil on my hair already back here, I'm gonna do it anyway. You can always tell when hair is happy because it curls up in its little spiral curl. I'm just pulling any shedded hair off that wants to come out. I'm going to go ahead and braid this section. nice overly moisturized here because it's gonna suck up that moisture I'm gonna let this hair dry and I usually put a hat on or a head scarf I'll likely show you a video how I look for the most part if I leave the house but honestly I would be completely happy leaving my hair just like this for the next seven days I would probably sneak in about day three or four and uh, rebraid the hair with some oil add a little light water to it but I'll be talking more about my weekly routine in another time but yay I made it another week and actually washed my hair within seven days it actually ended up being eight days but it's better than two months right so I'll be talking to you soon thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe you have a great day